Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Siengling excursion. Sorry about that. Don't really know what came over us there. Must be a bit excited. It is Tuesday. Hello, welcome back to the Chon. Welcome to the River Tyne. We're fishing the walkway tonight. We're just going to have a short session for about three hours. Tide's on the way in. It's three eight o'clock. I'm going to fish two rods, going to fish hard, see if we can pull something out. I was going to fish the open coast, but I just thought, nah, I'm going to fancy an easier, more comfortable session. Camera stand still knackered, so we'll just have a bit of a scratching session and see if we can catch something. Massive blow, storm Babette, Babette, however it's pronounced. Somebody who speaks French will tell us why it sounds of it. Um, and it was easily the biggest I've ever seen by some some margin. It was absolutely monstrous. And it's calmed right down a lot. So I thought, right, what do I do? Do I fish the open coast? Or do I come and have a comfortable midweek session scratching around the tine for any fish that might still be hanging around after that big blow? Plus, there's always the chance the odd coaly, flatty, white, and so I thought, right, I'll come, I'll fish hard, I'll fish two rods. I'm gonna probably fish from, what time are we on now? Five to seven, probably gonna fish from about now up until maybe maybe 10 o'clock something like that and just see if i can pull out a couple of fish i'm not expecting anything of any size it is the time right let's get this first rig out rigs tonight which i'll show you in a second are loop rigs which are my favorite clipped two hoot rig absolutely brilliant Ideal for this sort of stuff. Ideal for beach fishing, etc. So it's just be a lugworm and strap to that. I've got a six ounce sinker. You've got to be on it when you're fishing into the dark with a multiplier because. You never quite know when it's gonna hit the water. Bait number one out. Loop rigs. If you've seen these before, you'll know all about them. If you haven't, you might find this interesting. So at the bottom, imp, bead and crimp arrangement. Same at the top, and the little subtlety of this rig is you've got an SRT spring, and that's the that's the linchpin of the whole rig because on your bottom hook, it's a one up, one up, one up, one up, one up, one up, one up. Is that a new rig? It might be. One up, one down, one hook of fishing above the sinker, the other below it. And you've got this little cascade swivel that just clips into your imp, or if you're using a breakaway that's got an integral bait clip. And that little SRT spring there, let's come around here so you can see, just gives you that little bit of tension. And when it hits the water, bang, the whole thing comes undone, and you're fishing. Really versatile rig. You can try a panel, but I'll just like to make this little length between hook and cascade as short as possible, and then that just acts as a natural bait stop as well as your cascade, so it's kind of serving two purposes. So on this one, I'm gonna get a little bit of lug and a little bit of frozen crab, whack it out, see if we can catch something. Okay. 
first cast absolutely stripped. So there's either a lot of whiting out there that I'm not connecting with or a lot of crabs. Small fish with mono. Bites are obviously very, very subtle, so you do have to keep your eyes peeled. It's not... Oop. Left hand rod's just moved a bit there as well. Right, I'm going to wind that right hand rod in because it has been moving a little bit. A little bit of debris off the bottom. Getting a little bit of interest on this near side rod. Oh, that was a bit better. Hopefully something I've not looked at. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of slack. Take the slack up. Put some weight on. Hopefully this time we've got a fish. Just seen a splash out there. And I think we have some life. Yes, we do indeed. We have a mouthful of river tine is what we have there. Oh. Double shot of white. Let's just put that there. There we are. They probably size those, although I'll put them back. So I'm quite happy with that. I was beginning to wonder whether there was anything out there, but there obviously is, so it's one of them. I do like the whiting. Quite a pretty fish. There you go. And for you, fella. Again, oh, it was a hoop in the, in the top hoop there. Both nicely hooked. Lovely iridescent purpley pink colours on them. Do always like catching, catching white. Just had a wee bit of an inquiry on the other rod. Bit of movement on it a couple of times there. Oh, yeah, a bit of weight on this. Definitely a bit of weight. Sometimes the classic sign, if it's a smaller fish anyway, is that once your gear's about. 30, 40 yards out, you'll just hear it break the surface where the fish has come up. What have we got here? It's white. Felt so heavy. Oh, God, I've got a big old white in there. Jesus. Oh, we've got... <laughs> we did have. That is a first. I've never seen anything quite like this. Because... We've got on here a big, big white and a load of weed. I've definitely seen that before. But what I haven't seen is this. Look at that, that's a, that's a good white and that. Very good. Now, do these people not realize we're trying to film a fishing video here inconsiderate we've also had a little codlin on there there he is hooked but he's been absolutely ripped to bits obviously an undersized fish but he's died a he died a pretty painful death i'm afraid sorry fella God, someone's had a right go at him as well. He's barely got any tail left. Much bigger white, though. Biggest one I've had in a while. Three full fish and one mutilated fish. Right. Quickly get another cup of coffee. 
do enjoy fishing the tiny. It's nice, comfortable to fish. Touch on that right hand rod right there. Oh yeah, something's having a look. I was going to say you might occasionally hook into a better fish. There have been some good ones in the air over there. Nice, something's definitely having a look at that. We're generally are looking for bags, numbers rather than size. Let's see what's going on here. Did feel like I got a couple of lunges there. I am again. Yep, I'm seeing seeing white out there, which is good. Good God. Ever wondering what the expression micro cod means? I'm about to show you another lovely size white in here. Lovely condition white in that. That must have been what was banging away. He's taking my hook quite deeply, so and what we have here is quite possibly straight out of somebody's fish tank. Look at that. Just out of interest, just measured that whiting. 36 centimetres, which is not half bad for a whiting. Let's get him back. the night of first this. And the reason I say that is not because of this little fella. I had plenty of these before. Little Tommy, as I know and locally. Whoops! Little lively codlin. Just hooking the mouth. He'll go back. Well it's a double shot really because it's it's not a sea an enemy. It's some sort of sea fungus also with a little stone a little rock managed to give quite a reasonable bite didn't it with that cod on there as well a codlin not so sure what classes as a fish but I'm just piling these worms on now because it's it's after nine <sighs> got work tomorrow and I'd like to be in bed by no later than half eleven, ideally. Let's see if we can't get a size cod in there. That would be nicer. Yeah, seems to be something going on there. Let's see. Definitely something on it. Whether or not it's anything with fins is a different matter. Ooh. As per the other rod, I feel like I'm getting a little bit of... Ooh, he's a better fish than we might have. What we came for it looks to be two codlin. One of which is definitely size, and another of which is being attacked by a female crab. Got what we're after, after all, which was a nice size river tain cordling. Ow, and I've nearly just got a hook in my finger as well. Not a massive fish, obviously, he's maybe, I don't know, pound and a half. Double shot of cordling there. Splendid. Turned out to be a canny old night, this. Mixed bag, whiting, and coddling. And he is just hooking the bottom jaw there. Just measure him. 
Right, 35, bang on size. And let's get these little pal back as well. Much smaller, but lovely mark fish. Plenty out there in the river tight tonight. So I'm just gonna be very, very liberal with this baiting elastic. Not that I'm a Liberal Democrat's voter, I might add. Right, enough of that bollocks. Let's get this bait on, get it whacked out. A little bit of movement on these rods now. You can see the way the line's going to the left, the tide's really pulling through there now. It's not a big tight tonight, but there is a little bit of seed on out there as well, so I don't know if it's just pushing a bit more flow into the river. Yeah, there's definitely a bit of interest on these two. And the full time whistle, I'm afraid, is about to blow up. Aight, whoop, that, that left one's really good. That was a proper series of bites there. Best, best bites I've seen all night, that. Leave it fast. Oh, that's not a good end of the night. Oh, I'm not a fast hold in the town for a while. Fish is taking us into a snag by the looks of it. So I think what I want to do give that some slack. Bring this other one in, and then. See if I can uh, see if I can get that one out. A little bit of work on this one as well. Just heard the splash out there. Right, we do indeed have another lively whiting. And I've caught that other line. There he is. Nice stamp of white in mine, I've got to say. Fortunately, just hooked in the mouth. There he is, lovely, lively river tine white. And I don't know how many fish I've had now, I might be into double figures, I'm not sure. Can he set a gnashes on him, hasn't he? Right, it's getting back, see if we can get this. See if we can get this other rod sorted out. Right. Let's see if we can make head and tail of what's going on with this other one. It's getting some really good bites. It's just gone. Very, very fast. I've got a feeling I'm going to lose the lot here. Oh, it's come out, it's come out. Bit of weight on it as well. I hope what I've got is knocking before is still on the end of it. Yes, I can see a fish. So I was snagged on somebody else's gear. Coddling, well, coddling number four or five, but in terms of ones that are slightly better. Well, last fish of the night, that's the fish that was giving us a few bites. There he is, a little another river tine cod. I don't know how many I've had coddling in total, including the tiny ones, maybe four or five, something like that. But this is the culprit that was creating the problems. It's also what you call a free sink, although I think the rig's seen better days, but luckily I'm just stood next to a bin there, so that'll go straight in the bin. Sink will go in my box. Everyone's happy. Right, and with that, I'm going to bid you farewell. It's been mission accomplished, really. We uh, came to do a little bit of river tine scratch, and I wasn't sure whether to go on the open coast or not. Reports last night weren't particularly great, I thought. 
I'm just going to go for an easy session here and that's exactly what it's been. It's been very enjoyable. I don't know how many fish I've had. Eight, ten, nothing massive. A couple of codlin thrown at the mix as well. So it's been really nice to fish the river Tyne again. So that's the end of the session. Please do hit the like and subscribe button. It is appreciated. It does help. Really enjoyed it. Hope you have too. Till the next one. Tight lines. Keep fishing. We'll see you soon.